Okay, so if we want to fill out this T account here, what number should we put under debit? What should we put under credit? Debit. We have one number for each, right? So if we open up a T account called manufacturing overhead, and we want to determine the part of under allocation, over allocation, definitely we have two numbers, right? So the debit side, allocation is the credit side, so that would be this number, right? 116,800 that we just did, that we just assigned, this is the allocation part. What about the debit side? 119, and what is this? The actual cost, actual cost incurred that we only know by year end, December 31st. So this is the cost that we assign to different jobs, and do we have under allocation or over allocation? Under. We assign two less costs to the jobs, so we have a balance here. Yes. Uh, yes, 2,200. 2,200. So what do we do about this number? We need to increase cost of goods sold. So we will be debiting cost of goods sold by this dollar amount, 2,200. And we would credit 2,200. Okay, the whole point of doing this again is to adjust the costs that we um, allocated short to those job orders. So the actual cost is 119,000. We only assigned 116,800. So the $2,200, the under allocation part, we adjust and increase cost of goods sold altogether at year end. Okay, so at the same time, we reduce manufacturing overhead accounts to zero out this account. So we close this account as well. Okay, so this journal entry only happens at the very year end at year end when we actually know the cost incurred compare against all the costs that we assign throughout the year. This is an adjusting entry that happens at year end. Okay, so up to this slide, we actually completed all the process of manufacturing companies costing system, of job costing system, job orders. So next, we will talk about process costing. Before that, we need to go, go over another type of uh, company, service company. Okay, so what we covered so far, Tuesday and today, we covered the manufacturing side, materials, labor, indirect cost today, and then transfer to work in process. The portion that turns into finished goods, transfers to finished goods inventory account. Then when it gets sold out to customer, transfers to cost of goods sold. And at year end, Compare the under allocation, over allocation, do adjusting entries. This is today's, um, what we covered so far, and also Tuesdays.